hello guys how are you doing today i am constance and thank you so very much for joining me in the next episode of my english class in this lesson we're going to be talking about slangs that that are handy or can be handy right sometimes you go someplace and you just have to talk some slangs to let the, the crowd knows that you know you know what you're talking about or to defend yourself a bit all right my name is constance and i ask that you like subscribe and share share these videos right if you know someone that might need some help with their english exam please share this video or introduce them to this channel right i would so appreciate it all right how are you doing today i hope you're all doing good out there all right mother's day is coming up i hope when it comes happy mother's day to the mothers out there all right so let's get into the lesson let's get into the lesson the lesson is what slangs that can be handy slangs that can be handy if this is your very first time here you are welcome right you are welcome glad to have you on this forum on this learning platform and i hope you continue to visit this channel and share all right so our very first slang which is often used mostly in america pissed off all right don't piss me off mm. hungry furious or mad that's what it means to get someone pissed off to get them hungry furious or mad not mentally mad or insane mad that you have to go to the hospital but the temporary madness then <laughs> it's a temporary madness don't bother me leave me alone all right temporary madness so you're pissed off all right you don't get your paycheck your paycheck was supposed to come from friday or from thursday and now it is sunday and you still haven't got your paycheck you what you get pissed off you have bills to pay all right so get lost all right that is the next one get lost all right someone been nagging you so that means to what get away go away leave me alone so that is what get lost means to get away or to leave a person alone and they say get away means to leave that person alone all right they don't want to be in any conversation with you they don't want to know you they don't want to be talking to you right drop dead okay see drop dead to be angry or extremely gorgeous right right so you can be very angry someone say to drop dead and next one is to use that f word right so f word with half right to be angry or someone can say you are drop dead gorgeous right you are drop dead gorgeous like some youtubers there so drop dead gorgeous all right so drop dead has a negative impact and it also has a positive impact to be drop dead gorgeous or drop dead beautiful and then you have the part where it is hungry where you're telling somebody to leave your alone or you're giving them the mega finger all right so freak out freak out lost train of thought out of control to freak out right to freak out someone dies a child dies and you get freak out at times or an accident happens on the street or on the highway or wherever and that what freak you out or you passing you're taking your jog or your early morning walk and you pack up on a dead body that freaks you out oh my goodness so, ah! so freak out so loss train of thought or you get out of control you, you lost your natural thoughts or your natural thinking or your natural disposition right so don't sweat it e don't sweat it what it means to say don't sweat it do not worry about it or do not worry about something 
do don't worry about it or do not worry about something they say don't sweat it neat or cool so that is cool that's neat right that's neat or that's cool looks good or satisfactory when something is cool or it is neat or someone describes something as neat or make mention that something is neat it means it looks good or it is satisfactory you have done a good job right so you know you create us and you say wow you make this row a roll and this b roll together and it mixed with it so that is neat that is cool so it looks what satisfactory it looks good all right number g letter g don't push it don't push it all right you're going too far don't push it all right don't push it don't continue with your efforts and that is mostly it could be positive efforts too and if but it's mostly it, to the next person it is negative to the person receiving your efforts it's negative so they will say don't push it they don't really want to be conversing with you or they don't want you bothering them about something or you're asking for too much right when you're asking for too much they say don't continue with your efforts so they say don't push it you ask somebody for three dollars then you say don't give me three give me four I said, don't give me four. give me five. They said, don't push it. You know, you're going too far. You ask for three, now you want four, now you want five. Slave from now, you're asking for a thousand. All right? So they say, don't push it. Don't continue with your efforts. All right, we are at age. Give me a break, buddy. Give me a break. All right? To tell someone, stop bothering you or treating you unfairly tell someone stop bothering you or treating you unfairly give me a break give me a break sometimes can be used when you're having like a social conversation and you have like what you have contradictory thoughts so you have opposite opposite thoughts right and it's like, give me a break. That was only a child. You think that guy should be marrying her? She's just 14 or 16. She hasn't lived her life. Yet. Give me a break. Let that child do something better than just getting married and having babies. So you would say, give me a break. To so tell someone, stop bothering you or treating you unfairly or express your conversation of your your contradictory or different opinions when you have different opinions in a conversation we could use give me a break as well all right this one douchebag oh lord douchebag to call someone douchebag what is that an obnoxious offensive disgusting person Mm. an obnoxious offensive and disgusting person sometimes you meet some persons and they they warm you to themselves and then what you find out later on they becomes what they becomes obnoxious they becomes rude they become disrespectful all right so you call them what douchebag right you call them a douchebag you know what a douchebag is to wash out your private parts or your cavities right <laughs> to wash out your bodily cavities so douchebag an obnoxious offensive or disgusting person all right so take a look at these slangs right you might be want to use them someday or you want to use them in your writing or you want to use them to express or you want to tell them to somebody all right so 
look at these slangs try to remember them and try to remember what they mean right their meaning knowing them is one thing but knowing what they mean is also important it is important to know what they mean all right thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy this class i am constant please like subscribe and share and also hit the notif notification bell for videos like these all right um please check the description box below for my merch and i look forward to seeing you in my next class until then bye bye my lovelies